Alright YouTube, glad to see you back. Um, so today we're going to do a turkey breast. And um, we're going to try something new. This is a total experiment, so I hope it doesn't blow up in my face. But um, I guess time will tell. But I'm going to use on the turkey breast, I got from Heath Riles a seasoning Cajun Creole garlic butter. I was going to um, dilute this in a wine and then sift the uh, liquid to get out any chunks of stuff that didn't dissolve any type of the, the um, seasonings or something, but I chickened out on it. I was going to inject the turkey with that juice from the wine and the Cajun Creole garlic butter. I may do it another day, but um, for right now, I just chickened out on it. Uh, but I am going to use the wine. Um, so I'll be putting this on the outside of the turkey. And then during the cook, I also have Heath Riles Butter Bath and Wrap. Now that I am going to dilute with this uh, Moscato, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. And Moscato is a, is a white wine, but it's it's a sweet wine, and it has a number of stuff in there. It has um, uh, peach, apricot, hints of lemon, orange. It's basically a citrus type white wine. So I am going to dilute this butter bath in that wine, and I'll baste the turkey during the cook. Uh, we're going to cook it on a Weber 22 inch and I'm going to rotisserie cook this uh, turkey breast. Um, again, something new with me, so, you know, come along with me and uh, I guess enjoy the good and the bad. Hopefully this is a good and not a bad, but, um, you know, I'm not going to mask it if it turns out bad. You know, it's an experiment with the cooking and uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm also trying to season up my Blackstone. Um, had it for a while, but just finally getting around to doing that. So, got a few things going on, but I'll be back soon and ready to uh, to start putting a rub on this turkey breast. All right, YouTube, we're back. So, I went ahead and cleaned up the turkey, unpacked it, and actually got the, got it on the spit because it's just so time consuming. And, um, and courtesy to the viewers, I try to keep the videos as short as I can, but still reasonable. So, we're going to go ahead and start with this uh, Heath Riles Butter Bath. And I mean, tell you what, this stuff smells like a butter bath. It's great. So, what it's calling for is one quarter cup of the butter bath. And according to uh, instructions, uh, there's enough butter bath in here to do eight racks of ribs. Um... Well, we're not doing eight racks of ribs today. So we're going to go ahead and get that in there. One quarter cup of the Heath Riles butter bath. And then three quarters cup. Uh, on here it says, you know, use apple juice. Um, apple juice, apple juice, apple juice. Apple juice or water or liquid of your choice. So sorry about that. I had an interruption. So. Our liquid choice of today is going to be this uh, Moscato sweet white wine. So in the directions it calls for three quarters of a cup of this wine. Now this um, butter bath that I'm going to be using, I'm going to use that to baste the turkey uh, as, it, as it cooks. I'm just going to baste with it. So let's get this all mixed up if we can. I need to get me one of them fancy uh, Keith Riles shaker cups.
Yep, smells like wine. Buttery wine. Okay, that's that. So we're gonna let that set and I'll probably come back and mix it again a little bit later. And um, just to make sure it's all mixed up real well. So now we're gonna go ahead and start the rub on the turkey. And as I said, I went ahead and uh, started the process of getting it cleaned up, trimmed. Uh, it's a turkey breast only, so there's no wings, no legs. Um, so I had some extra uh, excess skin that I had to uh, get off of that. That's just the bottom right there. I'm not really worried about having the bottom like, super tasty. bird does not want to cooperate as far as sitting up straight. It's a lopsided bird. So on this side that I am concerned with, um, I'm going to pat it dry some more. I already had it dried once, but I guess the bottom of the pan is still a little damp. I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray the duck fat uh, on this side and use the duck fat as the binder. and the bird. The most important. Most important in the side of the bird in my opinion. I'm not really much of anything of that. I'm not a big dark meat eater. Um, so obviously the white meat, breast meat, is what I'm going to be worrying about the most. I don't know if you noticed or not, but I did have to cinch up the uh, back area here where the wings were because there was just some good meat there flapping loose and some skin and uh, I wanted to make sure it got cooked up so I can use it so I cinched up the back side of it uh, I should have done that camera don't like that banging YouTube as you can tell we've got it one rotisserie here now seasoned up I'm running two baskets uh, Kingsford competition briquettes and uh, frontier lump chart or coal um, I'm also gonna be throwing some hickory chunks in there yet too so uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get this thing a turn in and um, I'll add some uh, wood onto it later. But right now, I just want to get it going right now and uh, see how it's going to act. Uh, I got a little quickie in here. While I was waiting for this turkey to cook. I did uh, season up the blackstone, fry a bunch of onions as per Lep from Leprechaun TV. And I actually made my first cook one already. I cooked up a bunch of steak and meat for uh, steak subs during the week. All right, YouTube, we're back. Just changed up my wood to cherry. All I have is uh, big splits of hickory left. So I went to, uh, went to cherry. I did heat this uh, wine Heath Riles butter bath wrap up on the Blackstone just a little bit. I just probed the turkey. It's high 90s everywhere. It's been 
about an hour, maybe five minutes short of an hour. But um, I just want to make sure I get some of this uh, wine butter wrap and Heath Riles on here before it cook gets too uh, too far along. And um, it's looking pretty good so far. All right, YouTube, we're back for a little bit. Just added some more coals for it. Check the temperature. It's about um, uh, two and a half hours in. I figured another half an hour at least. I'm probing at mid 140s. Um, I did wrap it because I didn't want it to get much darker than it is. But uh, we'll see how that works. Um, but like I said, I just brought it the uh, some more coals in there to bring some temperature up on it. And um, we'll let it go for another half an hour. And then we'll be back. We'll be back. All right, YouTube. So I got it off the spit. Um, I was a little concerned because I wasn't paying attention to the little to call it that keeps the uh, spit within the rotisserie ring. They come loose. So the spit rod came out of the motor. And uh, fortunately, it was on the bottom when it sat there for a while. So it was probably only five, ten minutes. So. Let's um, cut into this thing and see what we got here. Skin didn't get real, real th crispy. I think that was just, I just was basting it so much. I probably basted this thing six times at least. Seeing juice pouring out of it, but it feels real moist. Oh, oh, yes, that was a little teeny bite. That was a dropping the chrome. Let me uh, take a bite of this thing here. Second bite. Oh yeah. Definitely moisture in it. I don't know, I lost track. I think that's the fourth bite. This bird is really good. I don't taste like the wine like I thought I would. Shouldn't have chickened out. I should have injected it with the Heath Riles Cajun Creole garlic butter and wine. But I just I, I chickened out with it. I was afraid I was to ruin my bird. But um, I did use the the Heath Riles. Uh, butter bath and wrap and a wine to dilute the uh, butter bath mixture. If it's there, it's very subtle. It's not pronounced at all. Excuse me while I talk with my mouth full. Another great cook. Um, I'll definitely use the Heath Rawls uh, butter bath again. We'll try some ribs with it next. All right, YouTube, we're back for the recap. So I took turkey in, it's really good. I was surprised I didn't taste the wine as much as I thought I would. I mean, I realized the alcohol is gonna uh, evaporate or cook off uh, with while you're cooking it, but I still thought there would be something there. Uh, it wasn't as noticeable. Uh, like I said earlier, I was gonna take this Heath Riles um, Cajun Creole garlic butter rub and um, I was going to dilute it with the wine 
and then strain this whatever di dilute and then inject the turkey but I chickened out the last minute I said well I'll just go to plan B and that would be to take this sweet sweet citrus wine white wine um, a Moscato barefoot winery I guess is what it is but um, and then I'll use it to delete the Heath Riles butter bath and wrap. Um, the seasonings are good. I would probably say that I need to, um, you know, as usual, I'm always rushed to do something when I'm cooking on a Sunday. I wanted to cook Saturday, but I just had other commitments that I just I couldn't get out there. But um, I wish I'd let this Creole, um, Cajun Creole garlic butter set on the turkey for a little while longer. Uh, than I did. I basically put it on there. It's set for maybe five minutes at tops and then I was getting it ready to, uh, to put the spit in it and then get it on a rotisserie because I just um, just don't have time on Sundays. Um, and this butter bath wrap, I think it's really good stuff too. I, I like it. I can't wait to try it on some ribs. Uh, we'll give it a shot and then we'll give a second opinion. Of it. So there you have it YouTube. I had a 13 pound turkey breast only. Um, rubbed it with the Heath Riles Cajun Creole garlic butter and I basted it probably six times with Heath Riles butter bath and wrap diluted with this white sweet wine, citrus wine. Um, it was on a rotisserie for probably uh, four and a half, not three and a half hours, I believe it was. One, two, three, three and a half, three hours and 45 minutes. YouTube, thanks again for joining me. Uh, I enjoy cooking for y'all, and um, I plan on cooking a lot more. So, thanks for watching. This is Lance with Sleeper Barbecue from Southern Maryland. Thank you until next time.